assalamu alaikum and welcome back to the coding with t today we are going to learn how to create navigation drawer in this tutorial alongside navigation drawer we are going to cover navigation header which we can use inside the navigation drawer and also we are going to create our navigation menu using list view and inside the list view we are going to use list tiles which we cover in the previous tutorials also and also instead of creating a simple navigation header we are also going to create user accounts navigation header which means that we can create a navigation header same like google you can see we have a bunch of user accounts then we have a username then we have a gmail so we are going to create that in this tutorial so let's get started as you can see our second section is about to an end we are uh, about to create the 10th video of this section so let's get started we are inside the project we created in our previous tutorials and you can see that we have a simple function we have a simple main method again if you are new please watch the previous videos link is in the description also you can get the playlist link from the right top corner so this is a simple application material app returning home widget let's go to home and in here you can see we have a class called home it's a stateless widget and in the previous tutorial we created list view a dynamic list view using dot builder function and today inside this scaffold we are trying to create above this body inside the scaffold we are going to create a drawer so let's say i am going to add a drawer to add a drawer inside application we just need a scaffold widget and again if you don't know about the scaffold and if you're new uh, to the scaffold widget you can get the link from the right top corner and simply we will use by a default drawer widget provided by material library so you can see we have a drawer widget unlike in android studio that we have to create a separate xml files for the drawer then menu files and then we have to design a menu itself but inside the flutter we have very easy to go steps we created a drawer inside the scaffold and a drawer will be created shortly let me just run the application as you can see on the screen that we have a previous application with a simple list view now let's just save this one and there is nothing changed on the screen because drawer is currently not working because for this drawer to work we need an app bar so we know how to create an app bar we learned in the previous videos navigation drawer for beginners but save it you can see we have a navigation drawer and also you can see we have a menu icon which appears due to this drawer line so let me just click on this menu icon and you can see that our navigation drawer is appearing and by clicking on the side it's gone let me just comment it save it and you can see that navigation drawer is gone there is no navigation drawer let's uncomment it and by this way we can use navigation drawer now inside the navigation drawer we have bunch of properties control space you can see we have a child of the drawer we have the elevation key and semantic label so first we can use elevation to make it to give it more elevations the more elevation let me just open it let's give 140.0 save it and you can see that we have a lot of elevation let's make it zero again save it and you can see that elevation is gone so by this way we can add elevation now let's jump to the child and inside the drawer we need to fill the drawer uh, using some of the widgets so as a child hover over this and you can see we can pass any widget to the drawer okay now inside this child we are going to pass a list view because we can pass column widget as well we are not going to pass column widget because we learn in the previous videos that list view provides a scrollable effect when the items are going beyond the screen size so that's why we are going to use list view so we can if our menu items goes beyond the screen so we can easily scroll them now in the list view we have a list of items children's and inside the children the first thing i am going to use is drawer header drawer header needs a child and this child could be anything for example let's add a container and this container has some color so we can see container clearly let's say the blue one save it and you can see we have a container widget let me press ctrl alt l to align the code comma again ctrl alt l okay now inside this drawer header 
we have a padding so make it padding edge insects dot all to zero make sure that we don't have any padding here and you can see that it's uh, currently covering the whole screen size as a child create some column in the children's we can create text you can see it's in the center we can deal with the columns layout right left right top bottom we have created a complete detailed video about columns and rows you can check a uh, link from the top right corner or from the description below so instead of adding values to this container i will create a drawer header using user account so we will cover that in a few minutes so let's close this drawer header so next to drawer header we have a list tile widget so we again now learn how to use list view and list tile you can again get the link from the right top corner we have a leading icon let me create it quickly let's run the application and you can see that we have three items i have added on tap and pass nothing they are the null values means we have a on tap function so when we are going to tap on this home you can see a ripple effect of the list tile so this is how we create menus in the on tab we will later on use the navigate navigation dot push to move from this screen to another screen so for the navigation menu we use this and also as a child because you can see we have a, as in the list view we have multiple children's so let me add text it could be labels save it it's in the border let's uh, let's wrap this text with a padding save it and you can see the padding has been added so you can add this padding if you don't know how to add this padding simply press alt enter and also you can go over with the text right click go to show context actions and you can see we have we can wrap things with any widget with the widget we want or press alt enter and wrap it with the padding widget and we can increase this padding by 14 save it and padding has been added okay next to padding let me add few more labels save it and you can see that our menu has been created now let's head back to the drawer here drawer header so instead of this drawer padding and by creating a custom drawer let's say we want to use user accounts drawer so we have a built-in material design user drawer user account drawer header this one it currently don't have a padding property remove this instead it requires few widgets account email and account name so let's give account email it's a widget let's pass text widget next to account email we have account name we will later on fetch from the database and display them here and also let me just remove this container let's save it and you can see that we have a title or account name and account email and also we want to add image so for that we will use current account picture and to add the current account picture just hover over this and you can see it requires a widget so it could be any widget i am going to create circle avatar widget let's save it and you can see that image has been displayed right on the screen now what if we want to add more images like in the google applications or like in the gmail application we have two other applications so which are not the current account pictures but these are the account pictures these are the other account pictures and you can see it requires list of widgets so list of widgets could be list of profile pictures i am going to copy this and paste it here two times you can change the image but i'm not going to change it and you can see that we have currently three accounts being displayed on the screen so it could be one it could be two it depends on the number of accounts has been attached to our application so this is how we create navigation drawer a simple navigation drawer but one uh, big problem here that we are going to talk in our next video or which is a bonus video of this whole section which i'm going to create at the last of this section the bonus video is that uh, you can see we have created list style one two three four five six list styles 
maybe we need to enhance uh, maybe our menu is a little more bigger then we cannot create list styles again and again for example uh, let's take this circle avatar we created two times three times the same thing is repeating again and again for example we need to add some decorations add some padding colors and what if we want to add to this whole list style a background color so we have to do it a repeated task again and again for each list style one two three four five six don't you think that it's being a hectic routine to keep implementing the whole things because it is not providing us a drag and drop facility and we are coding each and everything doing a donkey work so it's not like this flutter got discovered we are going to create our custom file for everything we can create a custom widget using a combination of multiple widgets like you can see we have a text widget we have icon widget we have list style widget so we can create our custom list style widget and in that we just have to pass text and icon we want to use and rest of the design rest of the functionality will be right there which will be saving a lot and lot of time for us while creating the applications and by using that we can create our own library or the library of widgets so that's it for this tutorial this was a simple tutorial thank you for watching if you learn something new please like the video and if you are new to this channel please don't forget to subscribe it Again, thank you for watching. Take care. Allah Hafiz.